Rock and roll has had its fair share of flamboyant mouthpieces. James Brown, Little Richard, Mick Jagger, just to name a few. Well, now the undisputed king of the roost is Van Halen lead singer David Lee Roth. Gene Wolfe talked and spent a lot of time listening to The Mouth That Roars. Although Van Halen's had six straight platinum albums since their debut in 1978, Jump is the group's first number one single. But it's not something lead singer David Lee Roth is going to let go to his head. People say to me, Dave, 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 now you made number one. Now you're getting up there at the top. How does it feel? How does it feel? And I've thought about it a million different ways. Somebody, a young lady the other night said to me, Dave, I know you're really making it big now. She said, you know, but you can't buy love. And I said to myself, you know, you're absolutely correct. But I can darn sure pull my yacht right up next to it and walk over. Ross' outrageous audacity is part of the group's persona. A Van Halen concert is usually one big boisterous party. And life backstage is even wilder and more raucous, as the winner of MTV's Lost Weekend with Van Halen found out. He says, Kurt, you're number one, Joe! <laughs> I don't think he will ever be the same. And, uh... I like to feel part of that. What we did is we dragged him up close to a, to a flame that burns for 20,000 people a night. And we brought him right down ringside to sit with it and drink with us and eat with us and do with us as we do. For most bands, the road, the rock and roll lifestyle is a dream. It's a fantasy. For Van Halen, it's an absolute reality. What your audience is coming to see is sex, drugs, rock and roll. Is that the image you want to sustain? I think sex, drugs, and rock and roll is the type of image that pro football is trying to sustain and promote to the American public because they're doing a darn better job of it than I am this year. On the other hand, it is all part and parcel of the road. <laughs> you read about it, now see the video. All the touring, all the drugs, all the sex, all the rock and roll, is there a philosophy that's kept you going over the years? The motto I always follow, which my daddy told me was, Dave, it's not whether you win or lose. It's not how much money you made. It's not who you convinced of what. It's how good you looked. That, to me, is rock and roll. That is the essence of rock and roll. It's not so much accomplishment as it is just so as long as you ascend.